So this is the Celeste Fig. This is the one that I got from my brother from South Georgia Figs. This is the Chalice. And she's gotten big and she's loaded with figs. Yeah, look at that. She loaded. And she got more forming as well. I don't know if y'all can tell. So I'm looking at it and this one in particular, it looks ripe. It looks ripe and it's ready. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pick this one. And we're going to taste test it. All right. Let's go ahead and pick it. Oh, he, she playing hard to get, y'all. We're going to... Oh, you don't want to come off? We, oh, yeah. Oh, man, look at that delicious looking fig. If I wasn't one-handed, I would show y'all the inside. I'm just going to eat this. Hold on. I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. Mmm. Dang. Mmm. God don't matter, no. That thing tastes like, tastes like plastic, boy. It tastes like plastic and tastes like rubber. Mmm. God, God don't matter, no. Nah, I'm just joking, family. I didn't eat it for real. Um, what I'm actually going to do, because there's so many, and it, for me it feels like it's kind of late, in the season, I guess because I planted it in the middle of, I planted her in the middle of the summer. So, you know, she's trying to produce now. I'm just going to take a few of these off and, you know, maybe at least like maybe one or two or so will ripen, but I'm not really pressed on her like really producing this year. So I'm just going to take a few off. I just figured I'd do that as a joke. I got to tell people that I'm joking when I'm joking because like sometimes people think I'm serious, but that was a joke. So I'm just going to pick a few of these off, you know, and, and kind of lighten the load for and see if that kind of helps out. All right, fam. Peace. All right, real quick. Um, I just wanted to show you all. I mean, even taking some off. I mean, I took a good amount of them off. She still has a lot on her. See, that's the, the little latex that comes out, um, you know, when the fig is separate prematurely. But she still has a good amount of figs on her, and she's still trying to produce. I hope y'all can see that. Like, if you look in the, in the corner here, um, there's two buds. When there's two buds, one is generally a leaf bud, and the other one is a fig bud. And she's got that in different places here. But you kind of feel bad, you know, pulling fruit off. Um, you know, but like I said, I just wanted to, if she was stressed a little bit, I just wanted to kind of take that off of her. But apparently she's happy. She's trying to produce. So we'll see. But the rest of them I'll leave alone. I'll let them stay on there. Oh, look at the little fig. Look like a little nipple. Oh, look at the little fig nipple. Look at it, baby. I sigh. I sigh a little fig nipple. We're going to put you back in here. You can feed your mommy like your mommy been feeding you. All right, and this, this, like I said, this is the chalice. Her name is Julia, and she seems to be highly productive, man. I'm excited to see how she does, like, in, in years to come. All right, peace, fam. Real quick, y'all, I want to show you. Looks like something been eating the tops of my Jerusalem artichokes. I think it's probably a deer, because from what I've seen, I think they actually like the taste of it. 
and it's all good i'm not really bothered by that you know they're gonna stay in here through the winter and we'll see what they uh what they produce next spring and then next fall also when i saw that i put some garlic around there so maybe that'll kind of keep them away i really want to show i want to show you all something but i'm looking so I was hoping if, if the deer came and ate my stuff, he would have left me a little treat, some doo-doo that I could have thrown in the compost. But I think he was being stingy. It looked like he ate and squeezed his cheeks at the same time. Selfish little sucker. But this is what I wanted to show you. So my, my Roselle, my Jamaican Roselle, I heard, I think it was Dan from Dan's Permaculture Food Forest say that the leaves were edible. So I'm going to try it just to see. Oh, shoot. So, mm. now that's actually, real talk, that's actually good. So, it tastes like spinach with lemon. Like if you took some spinach and squeezed lemon into the spinach, that's what it tastes like. Yo, that's good. So we got a massive amount of greens here. I'm still waiting to see if it flowers and produces calyxes, but man, we we got a good amount of food here. All right, peace for real, y'all.